Welcome to another issue of Extreme Health TV. I'm your host, Ginny B. And today I wanted to ask you a question. Do you think that you're designed to eat meat? Well, take a look at these top 10 reasons that we're different than carnivores and then make your decision. Number one, true carnivores have raspy tongues. Ours is smooth. Number two is claws versus fingernails. True carnivores have claws that makes it easy to rip into animal flesh so that they can eat it. We have relatively flimsy fingernails in comparison. Number three, these beauties. Opposable thumbs. These make it easy for us to reach up and grab a fruit, a piece of fruit off of a tree, just like a claw makes it easy for an animal to a carnivore, carnivorous animal to rip into an animal's flesh. Number four, the design of our colons is different. Ours has lots of folds and it looks bumpy, and the carnivorous animals is relatively smooth. Number five goes along with these lines. It's our intestinal length. Our intestinal length is 12 times the size of our torso, where a carnivore's intestinal, I mean, intestinal length is three times the size of his torso. This makes it easy for the carnivore to eat a diet of meat and let it pass through the system without putrefying. So if we eat meat, it gets stuck in the folds and it takes a lot longer and it eventually ends up putrefying in your stomach, in your intestines, rather than getting fully digested and assimilated. Pretty gross, I know. Number six, humans actually spend about two-thirds of a 24-hour cycle awake while carnivores actually sleep for 18 to 20 hours. So if you want to be more drowsy, go ahead and eat the diet rich in meat and dairy. Number seven, carnivores can actually digest microbes that would kill a human. They need this ability to digest the meats that they find, typically the ones that have already been dead for a while and are laying around. <laughs> Number eight, carnivores can manufacture the vitamin C that they need for their bodies. We humans, on the other hand, need to get it from our diets. This is incredibly easy to do if you eat a diet that's high in fruits and vegetables. Number nine is we can grind our jaw. <laughs> this makes us incredibly good plant eaters, but this type of movement is something that is completely absent in carnivores. And number 10, the last reason on my list today is our natural appetite. When I think of a dead carcass of an animal, I definitely do not get hungry. In fact, my heart sinks to my stomach and I am far, the farthest thing from hungry that I could possibly be. But when a carnivore sees a dead, rotting carcass, they think food and their mouth starts to salivate. I, on the other hand, start to salivate whenever I smell a ripe cantaloupe or whenever I can see some perfectly firm green grapes on my counter. That makes me hungry. So this is just a, a actually a very short list compared to the numerous differences that there really are in between carnivores and humans. And what makes it easy for a carnivore to eat a diet high in meat and makes it difficult for us to actually do that and remain healthy. If you would like a more complete list, then check out T.C. Fry's work in the natural hygiene movement. He has a very in-depth list that uh, I may post a link to on my blog. So if you want to, go ahead and check out my blog and it may be up there underneath this Did video. Did you like this video? Then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon with some more great videos. Love you, bye.